we had Moby on the show last week, and he was talking about just sort of like the loss of potential as you age, not only as a person, but as an artist, and how that impacts your art. Was that sort of the same sentiment you were getting at with that statement? I mean, it applies to a lot of things, and I think unlike a lot of people, I don't have like a big beef or like stigma around not being 20. Um, everyone who's 20, I'm like, peace, see you when you're, if you're lucky, yeah. not 20. I mean, the idea that we have this attitude toward the good fortune of being able to like live a life and have that be something that it like drags us down is such a backwards way of looking at life. And I find it like super, actually find it rude to yourself and the luxury and, you know, good fortune and privilege we have to live where we do and all the million reasons that we aren't dead. Um, you know, I really feel like as a musician, as an artist, as a human being, I've gotten stronger, better writer, better singer, better athlete, <laughs> better friend. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't really feel like um, dragged backwards by those things. Yeah. Well, and then think about all the people that were around when you guys were 20 that aren't around anymore in terms of just you guys are still doing it. And I think there's, a, there's something to say about that. Well, and I think the difference is, and we really felt it last night, was like, we're not, it's not kind of like we had it and now we're just kind of trying to simulate it. It's like we, everything, the meaning of this band has always been um, really principled and ethical. And like, we do things according to principles that mean something to us. And it may mean that we don't always stand at the top or at the front of the pack, but the people who come to our shows, like they know us and there's such a beautiful connection. And uh, I feel like the show we did last night is like, it's it's better than our last show. Everything yeah. is constantly going forward. Yeah. So yeah, there is no eventually because like, you know, it's now. Yeah, I read in some press release, check your nostalgia, I think you said. And I think that's a, kind of sums up. Well, that's tricky too, because you don't want to be, exactly, you don't want to be always like, okay, so what was it? Your perfect moment, the perfect you that you're trying to retain, you know, like you're going to get plastic surgery to look like what? When you were yeah. 32, 24, like what? When is it? Yeah. You know, to me, once you subscribe to that way of thinking, you, that is the narrative of your life. Yeah. And you're basically ensuring a sense of decline forever. Yeah. If you have a different view, which is to, you know, my mother, she's in her 80s. And whenever I call her, I'm like, how are you doing, mom? She's like, unbelievable, like incredible. And she always says to me, you have to trust me. Everyone tells you that life gets worse and worse. And she's like, only now are things, fragments of my life. You know, she lived in New York, you know, had my brother here, or huge epic history in the city with my family. And, you know, she's like, only now are threads of what I was doing then making sense to me. And we're all told to fear that time. But she's like, it's crazy, don't listen. Yeah.